सतनाम श्री वाहे गुरु साहिब जी ओ जे बिखिया सगली तजी लियो भेख बैराग कहु नानक सुन रे मना तेह नर माथै भाग वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह तन तन श्री गुरु तेग बहादुर जी पातशाह जी इन द बाणी ऑफ श्लोक महला नौवा गुरु तेग बहादुर जी पाच जी सही इन द श्लोक जहे बिखिया सगली तजी लियो भेख बैराग एंड दिस वर्ड दैट वर्ड बिखिया वी हैव हर्ड बिफोर एज़ वेल इट्स कम अप इन द प्रीवियस श्लोक्स एंड वी वेंट इनटू इट इन डिटेल सो दोस subjects and certain words that are covered in detail we won't then go into depth of them so that we can learn the depth from the other video and then apply it to to these ones je bikha bikha means poison je bikha sagli taji sagli means all taji means to let go of something guru tegh bahadur ji paach saying those that have given up poison completely that have given up all of poison जय बिख्या सगली तजी लियो भेख बैराग भेख ट्रांसलेट्स टू द क्लोथिंग दैट समबडी यू एज भेख इज दैट वॉट समबडी इज रेकग्नाइज बाय इन दे ड्रेस इन दे रोब्स दैन पाच सिंह हे जह बिख्या सगली तजी लियो भेख बैराग एंड वॉट हैव दे वो नाउ दे आर वेरिंग दे आर वेरिंग द रोब्स ऑफ बैराग ऑफ डिटैचमेंट and that can be translated to embodying detachment and actually experiencing and reaching that state and then paach is saying that kaho nanak sunre mana guru tegh bahadur is saying that listen oh my mind kaho nanak sunre mana teh nar nar means man meaning all people mankind so guru tegh bahadur ji paach is saying kaho nanak sunre mana teh nar mathe bhag mathe means our forehead bhag bhag means fortune that those upon their foreheads great fortune has been scribed those that have been able to give up all of poison what does it mean to give up all poison to give up all poison means to be able to go beyond calm to go beyond those burning desires growth to go beyond anger calm grow the lobe to go beyond greed to go beyond more to go beyond attachment and then to go beyond hankar to go beyond pride the next bit this says liyo pe ek beraag and that is actually then the nishani so what it means you know somebody might be able to say that you know what i'm i just feel detached from everyone now i don't feel any form of attachment and i'm just yeah i'm just completely free but you know sangat ji that's not that might not necessarily be the truth they might not even know the truth themselves for a little moment in some little area they might actually feel that that you know they f- because the word bairag bair just negates the word and rag means attachment but to be become bairag to become detached will know that only if somebody that isn't affected by any of those poisons by calm when we actually see that this person no type of desire actually burns them where they get taken away on this roller coaster of a ride of just being in that mode of complete this wanting this wanting that and then just chasing after it and not being able to be relaxed because their mind is just chasing they want and then if we look at krodh as well if we look at anger as well is one thing somebody saying that i feel completely detached but another poison is anger and pat ji even says that that actually just completely just destroys us from inside and we know today as well all the the medical issues that can occur as well from anger itself and how eventually that we could it could increase our blood pressure but somebody that is truly that has become calm and collective and is able to make decisions without being affected by anger remember these are just energies that when they take over us and we're not able to control that energy when that energy becomes uncontrollable like we spoke about in the last slok fear when fear gets a grip of us and it's no longer 
an instinct that just to help us to survive and get out of a danger. But instead, when it starts taking over our thoughts and body constantly, then that energy starts to consume us and then it becomes a poison for us. Just like anger, if it starts to control us and we're making raw decisions out of that, it's consuming us. But then it proves that we're actually not detached yet. Detachment is when we're actually beyond all of that. Because only when we've got more, when we've got attachment, can any of these others actually rise. Without that, they aren't able to get a grip of us and take over our lives. Birag, that sense of detachment, it doesn't just come from trying to chase detachment. The only way we can actually do it is when our focus becomes somewhere else. Our focus can't just be anything else. You can't just pick something and think, you know what, to get away from that, maybe I'll pick a sport. Maybe I'll start playing badminton and that'll occupy my mind and get me away from those things that are destroying my life, those poisons. No, Sangataji, there has to be a focus. So to understand what Bairag is, we focus too much on what we've detached from. But no, Bairag is to focus on what we are then yearning for. It come, Bairag is that avastha of yearning. That force is so immense. Then the shackles of those of the poisons that are keeping us back, that force becomes so powerful that when we start walking that direction, the shackles start to break themselves. We're not there trying to pull the shackles. We, gr we, create, we grow so much strength of walking forward that they start to break themselves. And that is Bairag. We've already translated that those that have actually experienced Bairag, experiencing Bairag, know those ones to have great fortune, or we could say even destiny that's scribed on their forehead. Destiny means that what is going to come. Of living in that mode, only amazing things can come for us in our life. So put your hands together and say that Fateh Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh.